and we also like we the people of india wanted to know is talapati vijay a part of jawan i couldn't believe it i still can't believe it honestly i'll only believe it when i see it on the big screen when we get together there's one clue you also heard that you also sang a song for jawan is it true yes <laughs> yes <laughs> Oh, that is like how how it happened like that that's your forte right like when they has to sing a song like how you felt well uh <laughs> i can't i can't really at least sir said uh the goddess is in your voice <laughs> and, I, and i and i and i remember feeling like he called me and he was like hey uh You, I remember you can write and sing in Spanish. Do you want to write a song for Jawan? And I was oh, like, oh. Yo, are you kidding right now? Like, <laughs> what? So uh, this the the story of Jawan revolves pretty much around the six girls and their story. Okay. Like Ani Ani Rhodes, whatever he's made, um, and that like part where it goes. Oh. Massy, massy, massy. That part. <laughs> exactly. Yeah, yeah. I was trying to do it. Amazing, amazing. And that part, like, like finally when they reveal like the old version of Shah Rukh sir with that belt, that one. Yeah. Killer. Amazing. Amma, panna thoda pakla. Massy, massy. Uire, uire, vande. So oh, hi Sanjita, how are you? Hi Ashwin, I'm well. How are you? I'm good. I'm good. How's the weekend going? It's going good. It's going good. I'm a bit overwhelmed. Yeah. I'm a bit tired. A bit nervous. Okay. But things are going okay. really, really well. <laughs> nice. I have a lot of pilot questions to ask you, but before we start off with anything, um, I would like to start that. Uh, how was your? Uh, how was your first moment when you got to know? That you are in Pinjabar. I couldn't believe it. I still can't believe it. Okay. Honestly, I'll only believe it okay. when I see it on the big screen. <laughs> okay. uh, to be real, honestly, I mean, not every day you get a call from uh, one of the biggest casting directors in the country saying that you've True. been cast in one of the biggest films for the few coming years with mm. the biggest icon in, you know, probably like one of the biggest icons in the world. In the world, True. and. Um, that feeling it's indescribable like i can't really put it into words i i remember feeling yeah. uh, like it was a bit unbelievable i almost dropped the phone <laughs> i i yelled <laughs> called my mom and dad and i was like this is happening and all of them were like well until the day you're on set we're not going to believe it and i was like yeah you're right let let's see let's see if it actually happens actually actualizes okay. and then it happened so Yeah, man, I'm still reeling from the whole experience. It's incredible. So, uh, how were you got into this project? Like, how were you roped into this project? Like, uh, you attended any auditions or you were striking out all the casting directors? Like, how it happened? It happened in the most organic fashion, in the most surprising way. Ah, uh, because okay. I, ah, uh, I'm a musician. Like, all yeah, in all, yeah, we know. I'm Yeah, I, I'm a musician, and I and I had a and I had a show. I was in Kolkata. Um, I had a okay. show at the in Kolkata, and I just got a call from Mukesh Chhabra sir's. That's the casting director. His uh, office saying that you know we are casting for a film. Uh, it is with an A-lister, and at the moment I was so clueless that I asked, "What is an A-lister?" <laughs> and and then uh, they were like we can't really name them at the moment but if you're coming to bombay anytime soon just come and audition for this project and of mm. course i was excited because it would be my first audition for a film and i didn't know anything else about the project at that time then i went to mumbai i auditioned very nonchalantly you know i didn't really know much about who is in the film what is it about nothing except the very script that i had learned so it was okay. done without any kind of inhibitions without any pressure and that was the best mm. part because i didn't put any pressure on myself i just auditioned for it without knowing anything and mm. then i got it and then i got to know 
the like how massive this project is and yeah that that was it i basically it happened out of thin air it happened out of the blue which was amazing <laughs> could you share the first shot which you had with javan like how over you were and like with whom you shared the first piece with um the very first shot that i had was actually alone it was just okay. me okay. in a in a really large crowd so that w- it was okay. like me walking through a really large crowd and um uh, I can't reveal what that scene was but it was in Pune that was our first my first um scene was in Pune and um yeah it was a huge it was not a set it was on a location and uh, I remember feeling a little overwhelmed because I had never been surrounded by that many people and it was my first time uh meeting mm-hmm. athletes sir mm-hmm. also so we hadn't yet broken the ice you know so there wasn't much to talk about i was really i was a nervous wreck but yeah that that was the first first scene okay so starting from reading musical notes and pretty script notes like how was the transition happen like how do you feel right now i feel i feel a little i mean it's a bit surreal because uh i never knew that i would be acting you know it was not something that i uh thought that i would be doing when i grew up it was always either music or dance i learned okay. hindustani okay. classical music for 10 years oh. and kathak okay. dance okay. for simultaneously for 10 years but acting okay. was never in the picture i never really took lessons uh and i never did theater or anything like that <clears throat> this okay. is this came out of the blue you know from a whatsapp uh like message yeah. <laughs> of a cast director and they just asked me would you like to audition for an ad so an ad was the first thing that i actually did when it came to acting okay. in okay. 2020 so the journey has really been short it's only been 3 years um mm. but it has been quite a roller coaster and like luckily <laughs> an upward hill you know it it has really been amazing and uh, very organic um apne like how do i say it? like it has happened on its own that's what we're really happy for you really happy thank you, thank you so much <laughs> yeah and uh, it's been a quite interesting journey to uh, to start a career as a musician and you know travel to acting and all right so we also heard that you also sang a song for jawan is it true yes <laughs> yes <laughs> Ooh, that is like how, how it happened like that, that's your forte right like when they has to sing a song like how you feel well uh <laughs> i can't i can't really put it into words <clears throat> okay uh, i'll tell you so the seed mm. of this was sown 2 years ago when we started shooting for jawan um okay. it was in the very first schedule of shooting um so sharuk sir got to know that i am a musician uh his manager pooja to that and okay. uh, when he heard that he was impressed he was like oh really okay so will you sing for us and i was like sir absolutely for you anything <laughs> so then next day he hmm. brought a guitar and a mic okay. on set and he was okay. like sing for us so <laughs> oh, oh. so sir yeah so we were all having dinner uh me okay. girls you know us the core team and uh, sharuk sir his wife atli sir uh, and you know basically the direction team and us so okay. i i sang one of my own songs for them it uh, okay. was a song called pensarte which is a spanish okay. song that i had written okay. and i remember that was the ice breaker you know between me and everybody else because after that the 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 behavior of the entire room changed i remember it <laughs> their expressions were quite priceless they i don't know like i mean obviously they were impressed which was very yeah. humbling and very very like i really appreciated that and atli sir said uh, the goddess is in your voice <laughs> and, I, and i and i and i remember feeling like wow that like what a what an incredible compliment and that was the ice breaker between atli sir and i and um, since then we've been like friends you know and now after so that was this that was a seed of the whole thing right then cut mm. to two years later like last month <clears throat> okay the whole soundtrack and everything was still being you know made ani anirudh yeah. is obviously 
making uh you know he's it's his musical atli sir had an idea that he wanted me to sing something in the in the film and i had also previously told him that you know sir if you want me to do anything any kind of music for the film i would absolutely like love that so he remembered that and he remembered mm-hmm. that i could write and sing in spanish he called me and he was like hey uh you i remember you can write and sing in spanish do you want to write a song for jawan and i was oh, like oh. yo are you kidding right now like <laughs> what <laughs> and okay. i remember Yeah I I was in Bangalore only and I was having dinner I was out having dinner I left the dinner I ran home <laughs> and I got like a little track from Anirudh steam okay. okay and I just had to write the lyrics and I had to sing so I wrote the okay. lyrics in like half an hour like and I like I I sang in a voice note and I sent it to them and then I was just waiting on the approval so okay. then again there was a lot of anticipation and I couldn't sleep because I was like No, I mean it's happening, but is it going to actually come through? Is it going to happen? Yeah. Are they going to like what I did? Mm-hmm. Um, is it going to actually be used in the film? Mm. Um, next day, I got a voice note from Anirudh mm. saying, "Hey, that that sounds killer, and uh, <laughs> would you <laughs> uh, just do your thing, make the song your own, treat it like your own song, and just do whatever you would like with it." and uh, send us the final takes i i really couldn't believe it man like i don't know how to explain to you ashwin that feeling of being able to sing for my own film and my first film um, debut it, it in in like uh in like a a theater film unbelievable it's like everything that i worked for in my whole life came together in this film you know like my dance my music and now my acting everything it's a culmination of all of that and it is a bit mind blowing and honestly i could cry you know it it is so special to me so oh, then yes yeah, yeah. that song basically i wrote is about us that's the six girls our okay. friendship our bond it's about got, our bond. Got, okay. yeah okay fine yeah oh you were going to ask <laughs> what's it about yeah. okay yeah. <laughs> so yeah the song nice. talks about the friendship of us girls it talks about okay. our bond with our chief which is sharuk sir and okay. uh, talks about the story which is about justice about passion about love about friendship and it's a song in spanish and it's part of the soundtrack nice nice that's that's so cool actually thank you <laughs> so uh Uh, you know like uh, after you being a part of the film right? after you, you went to the shoots and all when was the first time you felt like oh my god acting is so different than what i saw from outside like, and it's, it's either in a good way or in a bad way like, when do you feel that i remember feeling that when we were doing a song and dance sequence <laughs> for the film just before we started shooting for zinda banda um mm-hmm. i went on set it was in chennai there were okay. thousand girls on set mm. all dressed the same way and i remember lo- feeling like oh my god look at this it looks like a movie and then i was like wait this is a movie <laughs> <laughs> yeah it was like it hit me you know and there was nothing bad about it it was it was a a, a positive feeling i i felt great about it because i really it, my appreciation for film making for every little you know nuance that goes behind the screen to make it look like what it is has grown since my respect for the entire industry has grown since because it it boils down to the littlest of things from the art direction like how the sets are made and the amount of people that work you know day in day out on it uh the lighting the the, the costume the makeup the prosthetics uh the stunts the choreography the direction of course like everything and i i had no idea about these little little things that add up to such a grand thing that we see on screen you know and we are very quick to judge oh is ah this movie is whatever this movie is whatever or oh i like this but not that but mm-hmm. now it's like i look at it from a very different very fresh perspective, perspective. yeah cool. like i look at the amount of effort that's gone into this and uh, 
yeah, the way I watch films has completely changed now. I look at things and notice things that I wouldn't have before. And so I, I wanted to share an interesting thing which happened on the pre-release event. Uh, we came to the event and uh, I saw you, I think, just in a 10 feet gap, I saw you on stage. And oh, really? you were, yeah. <laughs> and you were so cutely trying to speak in Tamil. <laughs> And you, you really love the effort. Could you please share those moments, like how we prepare and stuff? <laughs> I was, it was really funny. So we were coming uh, to Chennai. We were traveling from Bombay, and uh, okay. one of our friends was also traveling in the same flight. And he was, he's from Chennai. He speaks Tamil. Mm. So then, in my head, I was like, man, I really want to speak like at least a, a one sentence in Tamil. Can you teach me something nice to say on stage? So then he. Okay. me in the paratha romba special aknadaka and then all of that and yeah. on stage when i had to say it i fumbled <laughs> and i thought i'd forget and i was like no i've been learning it since the last hour please <laughs> um but yeah it was it was really sweet i mean i always have had a lot of appreciation for the language for tamil um i i've learned so many songs back in college when we were preparing for this show with ar rahman sir we sang so many songs in tamil i mean what a beautiful language so it's it's nice to be able to at least speak one sentence <laughs> in it and uh, yeah uh, being a part of the gang being a part of the jawan army proud jawan army and being a part of the six girls and i think the six girls is going to be a major plot of the film uh, so uh, how it felt to be a part of the film and could you please tell me about the six girls and how you guys work with jawan so uh, this the the story of jawan revolves pretty much around the six girls and their story okay. um oh, if you okay. take the six girls out of it there okay. is no motive of the mm. story the the okay. actual motivation the actual drive uh, to do what is being done in the story would not would cease to exist if you mm. didn't have six girls so yes uh, this is an integral part of it and um, it felt amazing i mean i i, I didn't know that uh, we'd have such a pivotal mm. role to play uh, in the film mm. and uh, us six girls became best friends you know in real life uh, and now i could you see know, that too on the <laughs> yeah 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 we <laughs> we genuinely have so much love for each other and you know people keep asking uh did you ever feel competitive did you ever feel this or that and i'm like absolutely not we are uh, this is it is such a rarity and i want to thank you know mukesh chhabra sir and atli sir for bringing us all together for bringing these beautiful like angels into my life i i love them so much and i trust them with my life and i know they do too so it really is very special and gang of girls like i really do feel like a gang of girl like we are really tight so it's amazing okay. and uh, how was it working with uh, our tamil darling priya mani how is oh. she on set <laughs> she's amazing she's the loveliest most humble person like you know we we got to know priya mani as priya mani when we were on the set of jawan uh, shooting for zinda banda because she walked into set with us but the mm. rest of those thousand women saw her and they were yelling her name like priya mari <laughs> and we were like oh my god pillu what is this because we know her as pillu our friend pillu you know like yeah. she, she never came okay. across yeah she she never gave us that vibe of look at me i'm a artist, star artist yeah, yeah yeah nothing like that she she i mean <laughs> she's like a big sister for me and um uh, she's the one i i would reach out to for any kind of advice and um she takes us all in with so much love and she's so welcoming as as a human being the the loveliest honestly and uh, of course she, there's so much to learn from her when i see her you know in a in a shot so precise so nuanced lovely lovely person and just a great ball of talent so how many days you shared screen space with uh, priya mani a lot of my scenes were with her uh, like okay. a lot of our scenes were together so okay yeah. also awesome. so uh, do you got any chance to be able, like us uh, has been space with nine tara a lady yes. superstar yes <laughs> yeah 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 um How was which insane insane i mean again like nine tara has such a like she she's so like 
assertive and she knows exactly what she wants what she deserves yeah. um she is very like like this is work this is play like there's a huge distinction between that you can see there's an aura you know about her when she walks into set and it's magnetic you know very much like when sharuk sir walks on set everyone you know you're aware of it same similarly yeah. when nayantara yeah. walks on to, on to set it's the same feeling and uh, um there's so much to learn from her <clears throat> not just as an actor but also as a woman because often women are you know uh, just a bit timid perhaps you know on set especially when there are such iconic people but mm. with nayantara i i never felt like she would you know lose her ground and though she is such a superstar such an icon she's so humble like she has her head on her shoulders and her feet on the ground so you know an incredible incredible woman and her years of experience that she spent doing this reflects in every single thing that she does and uh, uh the dynamic between atli sir and Na- nayantara ma'am are like it it's it's beautiful and have you like had any uh, words with atli sir like personally like Uh, how good you felt about the movie and about the chances and stuff yeah yeah um i mean i remember sending him messages on uh, whatsapp <laughs> uh and okay. and in real life when I, when i saw him just a few days ago at the chennai event i i told him you know i mean from the bottom of my heart i'm i'm so grateful for this opportunity and the fact that he also remembered about the song about me singing in it 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 it's very touching because people forget people don't remember these small small things so it's very exactly. thoughtful of him um and uh, i'm so like i remember his speech it was so heartfelt you know at, at that event because this movie is his baby and he's had so much pressure and responsibility on his shoulders um you know to make such a magnum opus of a film and uh, at the same time make time for each of us not just the big stars but everybody who is involved you know and uh, sir is not that much older than us he is uh, yeah i don't know honestly what his age is but i know he's like a like an elder brother you know that kind of vibe and he really like made sure that we were at ease comfortable smiling and uh, having fun more than anything So I I've wow. told him this and uh, sincerely sincerely I'm so grateful for this opportunity. Uh and we also like we the people of India wanted to know is Talapati Vijay a part of Jawan? No comments. <laughs> I can't I no can't. <laughs> <laughs> okay okay fine. Let's go to the next question. And uh, I think it's a big fan in this film and uh, we are very sure that it's going to break a lot of records and like what do you think about it? Uh, do you think like this this movie is going to break these films records and stuff like the old previous films in bollywood and stuff the the thing is this film objectively even if i was not part of this film is one of the greatest films of our times i feel because okay it's pan india it is a like the best combination of s- southern uh, film industry as well as bollywood Mm. it's like the best of both worlds next it's it's like it, there's drama there's action there's romance but most importantly the hero of the story is not the stars that are in that have been cast in the film it's the story it's the messaging of the film which is the hero of the story and the messaging of the film is so important and uh, the fact that a very massy film is being made to give very important messages to the society is groundbreaking in my opinion and i feel like only atli sir can can do something like that and the you know coming together of like sharuk sir nayantara ma'am vijay sethupati sir and atli sir together uh that's what makes this th- this film and like there are there are messages in the films which people don't talk about which are really really mm. important and people should be talking about but no one yeah. makes a massy movie about it so this is like I don't know. I I'm I would watch it even if I was not part of this film and I would watch it like twice over. So Yes, I'm I'm sure it'll break records. I'm sure it'll break grounds. And uh uh 
at the at the cost of sounding overconfident this this is like one of the best films it, it i know it also huge yeah. huge shout out to uh our dop gk exactly that was my next question <laughs> thank oh, you it was. <laughs> yeah <laughs> please ask <laughs> yeah, yeah go ahead go ahead i would love to hear I was just saying that uh, Vishnu sir and Athli sir, their dynamic, okay. just like Nandara and Athli sir, is so beautiful to watch. Like they are two peas in a pod. You know, they know exactly what they want, always on the same page. And mm. Vishnu sir just makes the film look so freaking beautiful. I remember watching like playbacks on the monitor from our shots. and i was in awe of just the playback on the monitor so imagine how it's going to look on a big screen once it's color graded and finally done yeah. and executed yeah. man yeah huge shout out to him i mean he's behind the camera uh, but he's making the magic happen so uh, we after the release of the trailer we were trying to decode stuff through the trailer and but we got trust me we got confused man we, we really don't know what's happening it was like no yeah <laughs> There was a lot of timeline. There was a lot of characters. There was dual roles, three roles that we were like, no, I'm done. I'm gonna just tell whatever I felt like. We we were not able to decode it. Like, yeah. did you how the film is and how do you felt about the film? My God. So I remember seeing the preview, which came last month or like a few yeah. weeks ago, mm. and the preview was awesome. But the trailer, whoa. what was that it was incredible from the soundtrack that they've used like on the anirudh's whatever he's made um and that like part where it goes oh, masi 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 that part exactly yeah yeah, yeah. i was really good <laughs> amazing amazing and that part like like finally when they reveal like the old version of sharukh sir with that belt that one yeah killer <laughs> amazing amazing i was i watched it like five times over because i was like i can't believe i am a part of this and i can't believe how good it looks amazing amazing i am in love with it at least uh, outdone himself and uh, we know that you are a great singer and we are a great fan of your voice so you should definitely going to sing a song at the end of the interview but before that we also saw you clicked a lot of beautiful pictures on instagram you also love to like photograph and stuff yes yes actually uh, so my dad's a painter and a photographer and a poet oh, okay. so i think i got it from him and because so, and so he painted a beautiful painting yeah that's oh, yeah. true i can <laughs> see it <laughs> sweet <laughs> uh, yeah. yeah so i mean he gifted me a camera when i was little and we used we used to go on all these road trips uh, so i became really fond of landscape photography and okay. uh, just uh, not just landscape but also like of people so i i love clicking portraits and i love clicking landscapes okay. it's definitely one of my yeah. favorite things to do and vlogging like i like to make little uh, vlogs of places that i go to and documenting okay. the trips So could you please sing a few lines from any of your favorite film, or even from Jawan, or any Tamil film? Yeah, Tamil film. You sang a lot of air and songs and stuff, right? Yeah, I mean, I'm not trying. I'm not trying to be like, oh, look at me. I I can't uh, sing well today. But genuinely, I have a sore throat. <clears throat> But okay. for you, I will. Halangatta usaila. Mutta sanam tu katla, bumi romba tu ratla, yara riva karana ta, yen pirandal, yen pirandal, yen pirandayo, na yen pirande kanne. <laughs> it was so good. It was so good. See, I got goosebumps. <laughs> Please, <laughs> I can't hear <laughs> myself. <laughs> was my... so good. <laughs> But thank you. That means a lot. People is gonna, people is gonna spam you. Like, please sing a song. Please sing a song here. What is the one song with a uire? Uire.
and this conversation this interaction is going to be one of the best conversations that i had this is a really thank you so much for being a part sanjeev yes, and yeah believe me you got a rock in your music musical department also through acting and thank we and the team this music uh, we would love to you know celebrate you for you being in the film and wish you a great success guys thank you so so much that's very sweet thank you <laughs> and also there's something in your writing i think that cuteness so <laughs> never ever let it down okay hey smooth <laughs> that was very smooth <laughs> yeah, i don't know <laughs> okay <laughs> have fun bye bye it was nice chatting with you bye have a nice weekend bye bye thank bye. you bye